All right, so it's been a while that we spoke about the Galaxy S24 Ultra, and now that the hype for the iPhone 15 is dying down, I think it's a good time to talk about what we know so far about the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now, according to the latest rumors, it looks like the Galaxy S24 Ultra is not really as exciting as we thought it would be. And just a few days back, we saw a 3D render, which was basically a 3D CAD image, and this was a 360 degree view of the of what is supposed to be the Galaxy S24 Ultra and thanks to OnLeaks who was able to give us this who has been somewhat reliable in the past when it comes to the design and renders of uh, different phones. Now the render wasn't uh, really exciting. I have to say that it's pretty much the exact same phone. Um, the shape is almost identical to the S23 Ultra. The camera setup is also very much identical as well. And there's really no innovation. And I have to mention here that Samsung is often uh, is famously known for bashing Apple all the time for you know bringing the same design every year and just making another phone with basically not a lot of change. And they, they I mean, they haven't done it right now. But it looks like Samsung is also pretty much doing the same thing because there's really no change when it comes to the S24 Ultra, at least from a design point of view. And uh, talking about copying um, Apple, Samsung, again, is also pretty much known for bashing Apple all the time for copying different technologies and different innovations that have been used in previous or past uh, phone designs. And Samsung has also decided this time to use titanium as the frame for the S24 Ultra. So Samsung, how do you like them apples? No? All right, so let's talk about what is actually going to be different. And starting with the display, the first thing that we're hearing rumors about is that the S24 Ultra will now have a flat edge design. And I think that that's a good thing, even though aesthetically the curved design looks much better, but I think it's more practical to have a flat edge design. A curved design has really no functionality whatsoever apart from just looking good. So I think a flat edge design would be a little bit different this time and something that Samsung hasn't done in a long time. The display brightness is also rumored to go up from 1700 nits uh, and it's rumored to go up to 2500 nits which is a big upgrade. I actually didn't know that the S23 Ultra only had 1700 nits of brightness and it's not by any means uh, low but it's not as high as other phones and other devices that we've seen we are also expected to have 12 gigs and 16 gigs as an option and that is an upgrade because the s23 ultra you had the option of getting it in 8 gigs and 12 gigs but now you have 16 gigs as an option uh, which is a lot in my opinion two-way satellite connectivity is also rumored to be coming on the s24 ultra and again talking about copying apple uh, Samsung is also doing the same thing where they are going to be introducing two-way connectivity so you can use them in SOS or emergency modes. Last but not least, we are also expected to have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor which is going to be specifically made for Galaxy and this is rumored to be a 3 nanometer processor. Uh, again, we still don't know whether Samsung is going to be introducing the S23 Ultra with Exynos or is that only going to be reserved for the standard models, the S24 and the S24 Plus. But the biggest shocker that everyone is talking about is the camera setup. Now the camera setup is expected to get a bit of an upgrade and a downgrade at the same time. And what I mean by that is that we are expected to get a 200 megapixel camera on the main sensor up from a 108 megapixel camera which has been rumored for a couple of years now. We were also thinking that the S23 was going to get the 200 megapixel camera but it didn't. Now we are expecting the S24 Ultra to get it. Again it's just a rumor there's really no confirmation as to whether it's going to be true or not but according to Ice Universe which is a pretty reliable source of information and leaks in the past he uh, tweeted a few days back that the Galaxy S24 Ultra is going to be downgrading the telephoto lens and it's going to come with a 50 megapixel camera but instead of the infamous 10 times optical zoom it's now going to come down to 5 and this is a big controversial topic because I mean that's the the, the 10 times optical zoom was what actually made the Galaxy series, especially after the S21 Ultra, that was the specific feature that made them famous. And everyone is talking about how you can zoom in and take pictures of the moon and all that stuff. That is the specific feature that was able or enabled Samsung uh, phones to do that. Now that's uh, allegedly coming down according to Ice Universe. And if he's saying it, I I think I'm, I'm I believe the the rumor. Uh, that Samsung is now going to have a five times optical zoom on one of the tele telephoto uh, lenses. So that's a bit of a bummer. Now, I, I mean, it's, it's I think, too, um, 
too big of a downgrade to kind of believe and a lot of people are actually still kind of in awe as to why they're doing this and uh, I'm also, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure Samsung has something up their sleeve. There may be a specific feature that will sort of provide you the same sort of zoom or the same quality when it comes to the zoom, but uh, I still don't know whether um, there is anything more. When it comes to the battery and the charging, we are expecting a 5000 milliampere battery, which is pretty standard. Uh, there's nothing new there, but there is one change that is rumored, which will be the 45 watts of fast charging, which is currently not available on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Uh, but uh, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, that's everything that we know uh, right now. Uh, launch date is uh, expected somewhere in January, February. You, that, that's that's uh, usually the dates that we see every year. So 2024, January, February is when we can expect them. That's around three to four months away. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's all we have right now on the S24 Ultra. Let me know what you guys think about uh, these latest uh, news and whether you would consider buying this phone or would you, I mean, just go for something like the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And I know the iPhone 15 is having a bit of an issue with the overheating and it's having some issues with durability, which it looks like Apple is addressing the heating issue. Uh, but yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this and uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.